Hey guys, so um, to get into the spirit of Totem, Cirque du Soleil, I ended up doing uh, some makeup tonight that's pretty much like the um, Aboriginal dancer. Ouch, I just hit the door. Um, I got a Facebook notification. Anyways, you know, it, it's pretty much the mask or, or the makeup that they do, but um, that's bad lighting. But, um, minus the hair piece, I didn't have the hair piece or the feathers, so I just did some blue hair because the feathers they wear are blue. But the mask is, or the paint rather, is pretty much right on it. Um, <laughs> I give them props, any of the Cirque people who actually do their makeup, which all of them do, anybody who performs in there does their own makeup, but, um, it was time consuming, I'm not going to lie. It probably took me, I don't know, maybe 45, no, 30 minutes, maybe, 45 minutes, I don't know, somewhere around there. But that's long enough for me. Wow. There, that made the lighting a little bit better. But what I did, um, first thing I did was the big white stripe down my face. And then I did the black. All this is the cream crap that you can get at Walmart during Halloween. But I did the white, did the black. Um, then I did the black, was it the black line next? I think it was the white line. Or was it black? I don't know. Anyways, I did the lines next. And uh, after that, I used some foundation to cover this side of the face up. And then, what did I do next? I did my, I don't I guess it's like a jaw bone, jaw bone line. But um, that's what I saw on the internet so that's what I did but you do a job on one here and then down here cover that back up with foundation to kind of smooth it out um, contour the nose on both sides and kind of go up under your eyebrow on that side and if you want to you can do um, what kind of I mean like a darker uh, lip color and then I powdered it all I used baby powder which is why my shirt's kind of covered in white. Yeah. I used baby powder and covered my entire face with it. I blotted it on and my hands were covered. My whole body was covered in white baby powder. But I covered everything in baby powder and then brushed it off lightly. And on this side, they... I, I totally forgot about it. Well, I should have done it first. But I did the circles. I, I tried to use my crayon, the... Um, makeup crayon but it didn't work because the black was still wet so I was thinking well shit what can I do so I took a, a cap kind of like the size of a um, hairspray cap but it was the cap to the cream uh, makeup the Halloween makeup and I put it in a cup and I was like yes that's gonna work and I dabbed it like I put some of the cream into the cup and then used the cap and I dotted my little O's on there but uh it was pretty fun. I gotta say, like I said, it was time consuming, but yeah, I could put a probably cover up my eyebrow a little bit better on that side, but it's not a big deal. <laughs> um, all this stuff was less than like five bucks. I got the foundation at uh, well, minus the hair color because that was like six bucks, but I've had it. Um, the foundation. Oh crap! I got color all over my mirror sorry uh the foundation was a dollar and i got a eyeliner pencil thinking i was going to do some out like my lines with the eyeliner pencil but i ended up not doing that um but the cream it's a black and white cream was 97 cent each at walmart and the pack of crayons was like a dollar 97 so i didn't use that much money doing this i'm sure when it comes to the guys um that are actually in Cirque du Soleil they use the MAC makeup and all kinds of other shit that's really expensive, but this is my take on it. Oh no, anyways. <laughs> um let's see what's today. Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. God, I got four days till I'm going to see Cirque du Soleil. I am probably leaving on um, early Monday morning to go down to um Kennesaw. And yeah. I guess that's it.
I'll see you guys later. Bye.